Similar triangles. So we'll start with a little terminology. In geometry, two polygons are similar when they have the same scale factor and they'll have the same measure of angles. So we're looking for a ratio that's the same. So like in this case, if I'm looking at the side that's 10, line segment AC corresponds with five. Well, half of 10 is five. We're dividing by two, multiplying by half for a scale factor. If I, my corresponding side CB lines up with ZY, and we also have that same scale factor, eight divided by two is four. So it looks like we have that common scale factor. And if we look at this third side, 12 divided by two is six. So it looks like our scale factor from the large um, triangle to the small triangle would be a scale factor of 0.5. Or if we were looking from our small triangle to our large triangle, our scale factor would be two, it'd be twice as large. So how do we know if two triangles are similar or proportional? What we're looking for is that the corresponding angles will be equal and the ratios will be equal. So they'll have the same scale factor or the same ratio and within the triangle, all the interior angles would be equal to each other. So to determine if something is similar or proportional, we could check the sides and see if we had that same scale factor, that same ratio um, of all the corresponding sides. So when we talk about corresponding sides, let's look at the geometry notation we're given here. We have triangle ABD and then this little squiggly sign which means is similar to triangle CBD. So if we looked at writing this, and we could draw this on our paper in two different colors, one color for this triangle, one color for this triangle, and then we could determine our corresponding parts. So like, which angle corresponds with angle A? Well, angle A corresponds with angle C. Line AB, AB corresponds with CB. Which angle corresponds with ADB? So from A to D to B, if I'm looking for the corresponding angle on the other triangle, I would start here with CDB. Remember, the middle letter in angles is your vertex. That's where it changes direction here. So CDB would be the corresponding angle on the right triangle. Line BC, BC would correspond with what line segment on the other triangle? Would be BA. And line BD on either triangle is a shared side. So BD would correspond with BD. They're a shared side. Means and extremes. So when you've done proportions in the past and you've solved and you've looked at ratios, we have something called the product of the means and extremes. So if the product of the extremes equals the product of the means, then a proportion exists. So if we have two triangles that um, two fractions that are equal to each other, then we can cross multiply and those products are equal. So that means A times D would be equal to B times C. So that's the product because we're multiplying. So we're talking about multiplying A times D would be equal to B times C, and this allows us to have an equation to solve. And this cross-multiplying is a great way to see, do we have a proportion? Do we have a common ratio or a scale factor that's the same from one side to another? So um, we can use this to find missing sides. We can use this to just check proportionality. Checking proportionality is checking for similarity. So for example, if I have these two triangles and it looks like 12 corresponds with eight, 15 corresponds with 10, 18 corresponds with 12, I can make some ratios here. If I just do the small triangle of eight corresponds with 12, 10 corresponds with 15, 12 corresponds with eight, then we could check um, cross products to see if they're proportional. So I could pick any two of these at a time I could do like 12 times 10 in my head is 120. 
8 times 15 is also 120, so those sides are proportional to each other. And I could try this um, with another set of fractions. I could do 10 times 8 is 180, 12 times 15 is also 180. And I could check each set of these, and if I do cross products, I should get the same numbers. And that's just for pro uh, proving that each um, ratio is the same for all three sides from one triangle to the other. So if they have the same scale factor or they're proportional, we can check and say, yes, those are similar because the ratio of the sides are the same. The two triangles below are known to be similar, so we're given that they're similar, determining the missing value of x. So to find the missing value of x, we want to set up our proportion, and then we can use that product of means and extremes to write an equation. So I need to identify what side the variable is. Well, we have the x here. So the x has to match up from the small triangle with this 4.5 on the large triangle. And when they correspond, I want to either make sure they're either on the same fraction or they're both on the top or both on the bottom when I'm setting up my ratio. And then I can use two of the other ones that are just numbers. I can either use 6 and 4 or 7.5 and 5 for the ratio part. So I did 7.5 matched with 5 and 4.5 on the large over x on the small. So notice how the measurements of my large triangle, in this case, are all on top, and the small are all on the bottom. And I just need to do that with consistency. It's not so important that one is on the top, one is on the bottom. It just matters that we're consistent, that we have all the small triangle on one level, all the large triangle on another. Then to solve for our unknown, we can use the product of means and extremes. And we can cross multiply so that our equation comes from 5 times 4.5 is equal to 7.5 times x. Then we can multiply 5 times 4.5 is 22.5 equals 7.5. Divide both sides by 7.5 and x is 3. So my missing side is 3. And that will get everybody started with Summer Triangles. Have a great day. O-U-T spells.